Hey everybody, it is Monday, the 27th of June, 2022. This is a little warning that I need to put out. Um, Father led me to (laughs) do this this morning as um, in the last 24 hours, um, I have been fending off spiritual attacks. And it came about because um, some are not aware of the traps of the enemy And my husband, who is still learning, um, walked right into a snare (laughs) um, on social media. So first of all, I'm going to just emphasize this. For those of you who are still on social media, please heed these words. Um, Social media is a trap. Um... It's a trap. That's why we have the World Wide Web. Okay? Look at the picture on the screen. That's why we have the World Wide Web. It's a trap. Father has shown me where we are in the prophecy, end times prophecy, is that there are not many left to glean from the fields, meaning that the harvest is almost over. Okay, the separation is almost complete and the harvest is almost over. And so be careful about your efforts to evangelize on social media. Be very careful, okay? Because most of the time, those you might be trying to reach will not hear you because they, like I said, the time has come where a lot of um a lot of people have made their decision okay also too be be aware please be aware that not all people are people okay there are entities who have disguised themselves as humans in the flesh okay there's, there are entities, enemy agents, who have disguised themselves as humans in the flesh. Um, and then also, too, there are those humans who do worship Satan and do his will. Okay, Satan. The, people are really surprised when I tell them that a lot of people in the congregations and churches are witches and warlocks. And just like I put out a post yesterday that pretty much there's a wolf in every pulpit, which fulfills the prophecy in Amos, okay, that there is a a famine of the truth of God's word. So churches are actually one of the more dangerous places to be, by the way. Especially churches, you know, since I know most churches hold their worship services on Sundays, which is actually worshiping Satan. Um, so be careful. But this attack that um, my household was, I was fending off yesterday for my household and myself and my husband um, was initiated because I have another friend <clears throat> who is a believer, though he's still learning as well, like my husband is, he put out a very strong post on social media, basically saying that if you're a Christian and believe in choice, then you're not a true Christian. And of course, he's standing for the truth, of course, you know, and we should, but we also need to be wise. We should not be casting pearls before swine. And as he did that, it opened him to an attack from the enemy, to both him and my husband. Uh, There was a a woman who, using very vulgar language, um, came against both my husband and my friend and said, oh, I'm sending something over to you and your house and your wife and blah, 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 basically threatening to curse us, to attack us in the spiritual. And my husband, thankfully, felt attacked by those words and he told me about it because it bothered him 
enough. Thank you, Father. Because that gave me the heads up. Because I was feeling uneasy. I was feeling uneasy all day long because I could see things in the spirit that was happening. And I was been praying and, and, and warring all day long. But then I felt an uptick. And that's when he told me that this woman threatened to curse us. <clears throat> and so I immediately went on the defense. And I rebuked her in Yeshua's name. And I did everything I usually do in the spirit. Father has shown me a lot over this last year on how to warn the spirit. And I will give you just um, a really quick basic 101 toward the end of this video on how to do it. Because you're going to need to know because we've got a lot of stuff going on. We've got planetary alignments. I know, you know, yes, I don't believe in the globe earth theory. And I know planets are, but they are a sign in the heaven still. Okay. Planets are still a sign in the heaven. We cannot dis dismiss that. Um, <clears throat> we've got that. We've got energy spikes off the Schumann resonance, which I may do another video on that later. But there's all sorts of things going on. Plus the fact that the scientists are going to turn CERN up full speed. We're going to see a lot more evil entities manifest. And the war is going to start manifesting in the physical realm from the spiritual realm where it's been raging all this time. We're going to see it, guys. We're in the tribulation. The Antichrist is about to be revealed. Okay? There are not much left to glean from the fields for the harvest. But back to this attack. So um, I, I did what I needed to do to rebuke her. And then I reached out to my friend and I said, hey, listen, she's a witch. You need to rebuke her. She's an enemy agent. This is what you do. And I gave him the rundown and he said, yes, okay, thank you. And so he heard me. Thankfully, hopefully I'm praying father will open his eyes and that this is one of his lessons that he grow a little bit more aware. Okay. But you, you, everybody needs to know that if you're on social media and I am there too, but I have not been active for a long time. I'm just sitting there <clears throat> with a picture that has scripture and points people to Yeshua. That's it. And I know that Father will lead whoever needs to see it to my profiles. But I am not actively posting things which could be used against me or my family. Um, <clears throat> especially to right now while everything is being so heated up. Okay, all the demons are all, oh, all the demons are active right now, y'all. A lot of people out there demon possessed. Yes, lots of, and, and people go, oh, well, you make everything spiritual. Well, yes, yeah, because everything is spiritual first, then physical. So don't disregard this message, please. But also keep in mind for those that come out like ravenous wolves and they're using a lot of foul language and they're just evil and vile and ugly, please know that's a sign that someone is demon possessed. Okay. They need deliverance one, but two, you need to be careful with how you handle them. And I would highly suggest you just completely avoid them because a fool does not delight in understanding. You're not going to change their minds. You, they only want to show off their opinions. They want to rub their opinions in your face. Okay, that's all they want to do. That's all they want to do because they're full of pride and they're full of hate, which is exactly what Satan is. Okay, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and fools despise wisdom and discipline, right? They do not delight in understanding. They despise wisdom and discipline. So don't cast your pearls before swine. Like I said, the division has deepened. The wheat and the tares is almost complete. Okay. The harvest is almost complete. There's not much to glean from the fields. So here's your really quick lesson on how to rebuke an enemy attack. Okay. I'm going to talk a little bit more on spiritual warfare through this next week because you're going to need it. You're going to need it. And like I said, take everything I tell you to Father for confirmation and more understanding. He's, I'm just showing you what he's shown me. Okay. 
<clears throat> but <clears throat> as I was a babe a few years ago when he started to wake me up to this and I was trying to learn, but I wasn't learning from the source. Okay, <laughs> You've got to go to father to learn, guys. <clears throat> That's the problem. People are following all around after man and they're not going to father for information. And that's just exactly like the reason why Adam and Eve fell is because instead of turning to father for at source, he's the source of everything. They went to the tree of knowledge of good and evil because they thought they wanted to get it now. Father gives us what we can understand. But if you're not prepared to receive it, that's what can do a lot of damage. And so they went to another source. So don't go to another source necessarily. You, you, you don't want to go there and, and bank on it. That's what I'm trying to say. Is you don't want to go there to a source and take it as gospel. You should only take anything as gospel from Father himself. Okay? <clears throat> but I'm trying to show you what he showed me. And I pray that you will take it to him and have him teach you more. Because you're going to need it. You're really, really, really going to need it. Because it is... <laughs> The war is growing, guys. So here's one scripture that Father led me to when I came, <clears throat> came to him because I'd had a couple spiritual attacks that were actually pretty scary. And I really had to struggle before the attack ended. Okay. One of the th things he showed me was that you've heard other people teach, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ, right? No, 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 no. You'll find that, and this is what I found as well, that if you start with the word I, you will struggle immensely and you won't be successful. Okay? You'll struggle because you're saying I. We have no authority. We have no power other than if we stand in Yeshua's power. He is our armor. He is the whole armor of God. Yeshua himself is the whole armor of God. We cannot stand in our own power. We can only stand in his, in Yeshua's power. So when you go to rebuke an entity, a demon, an attack, um, you know, a witch casting spells against you, you have to start with his name. Just like the Archangel Michael here in Jude 1, 9. Okay, I'm going to say Archangel Michael, he knows how to war. <laughs> he knows how to war. He knows how, how to do it. He knows the parameters and the process. And so when we see here that he says, the Lord rebuke you. Now, I rebuke you in the name of the Lord. He said, the Lord rebuke you. Okay. Yeshua rebuke you. That is how you do it. That is how you do it. You have to use the name, Yeshua's name, his name, the one who conquered death, hell, and the grave, the one who went to hell and got the keys and came back and he has risen today. Hallelujah. You must use his name first. Yeshua rebuke you and do it powerfully and boldly and fearlessly. Okay. That is how you do it. And then the other thing you do is you follow it up with praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise is a powerful weapon. Okay? Praise is a powerful weapon. So, like I said, this is just a real quick 101 lesson. Yeshua rebuke you and praise. Those two things, yes. And you will be successful. And you will grow and you will learn. So keep taking this to your to Father for confirmation and to learn more and better understanding. All right, because now if you've not gotten your house in order now, you need to be getting your spiritual house in order right now, right now. You need to know for sure who you are standing by and in whose authority you are acting in because now is the time. Now is the time for major faith testing. And yes, Father tests us. He tests us. Again, are you going to pass the test? Is your house built upon the rock? The rock, which is Yeshua HaMashiach. Is your house built upon the rock? Are you walking closely with him 
every day? Are you dedicating your life in every way possible to him? Everything you do is for his glory. Are you seeking him in all things? Are you seeking all of his truth, including the books that are outside of the Bible canon? That is where you learn. In the book of Enoch, what the fallen angels came and taught men to do. Just a really quick, for instance, on something I'm going to point out in future videos. <clears throat> One of the things I learned when I read the book of Enoch was that the fallen angels taught the human women, the humans, how to use, make and use makeup. Okay. Eyeliner, mascara, all those kind of things. And there was one day when I was standing in the mirror in my bathroom um, in front of the mirror and I was putting my eyeliner on. Father came to me and asked me, why are you lining your eyes like the Egyptians? You are my daughter. Oh, <laughs> talk about conviction. He taught me better. I know better. I do better for his glory always because I want to please him always and forever. Even when forever ends, I will praise him forever and ever and ever. <laughs> but you have to learn. You have to seek him and he will guide you to those things that he wants you to understand. And you have to have faith and trust in him even though it sounds different than anything you've ever heard of, ever taught. The reason why it's going to sound different is because this whole world is wrapped up in layers and layers and layers of Satan's lies. Okay? Father showed me a vision of what the earth looked like. And there were layers and layers and layers of black, black, thick, sticky, heavy webs. Everything is tainted with evil. Everything is tainted with his traps and his lies. But only for a short time left. His time is almost up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his name forever. Amen. Amen. Be wise, my friends. Seek him. Now is the time more than ever to seek him. You will be tested. This is the crucible. We are being put into the fire. You need to be wise. You need to learn. Don't be afraid. But be extremely diligent to learn as much as you can every day. And to seek him as, in all things every day. Be in prayer in your heart and your mind and your spirit all day long, every day. Make sure you fill your lamp with oil so you have to spare. That you'll be one of the five wise virgins. Time is almost up. Don't be a sitting duck. Don't be ignorant and easy to attack, please. Yahweh be with you.